Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to use fault trace on an easy thump and a smart thump. Now, let's get started. In this video, we will be going over the fault trace or arm on the easy thump and the smart thump. For a brief connection overview, first, Apply your equipment safety ground to ground. Then apply your high voltage return lead to the concentric neutral or shield under test. Finally, place your high voltage output lead to the cable under test. Both the easy thump and the smart thump come equipped with a locate feature. This locate feature uses the TDR trace overlapped with the arc reflection pulse. To locate your fault. On the smart thump, in order to get to locate, you must select pre-location on the main menu. Once selected, you will come across this screen which shows searching for the cable's end. This here starts the TDR process. After confirming the cable's end, it will prompt you to start the fault trace. Once the desired voltage is selected, it will prompt you to the screen showing to push the green HV on button to begin the test. You would then see an analog screen showing the voltage buildup. Once the desired voltage is achieved, the unit would now release the pulse. After the unit releases the high voltage pulse, it would then discharge. When the fault trace is complete, you will see it as the red line lays over the blue line, which is the TDR trace. It will also show the flag where the fault is, in this case, at 171 feet. Then you can start to pinpoint. This concludes how to use fault trace on an easy thump and a smart thump. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos, including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support that you may need for your electrical testing.